All right, welcome back to Atelier Sophie. Um, again, always never sure what to do when we start up uh, again. Um, so we still have this thing where we need a Kaiser Pigeon, and this here we can make the friendly persona. I think that was what we were going to do. We were going to make some, craft some stuff, I think. So. Hmm, what to make? So let's... Oh, yeah, we can't make the friendly persona because our alchemy level is kind of low... In the practice cauldron, we weren't really going to get much better, so we opted not to do that. Although we did get a new party member. Harold, I believe, joined us last time. Uh, and we put him in our main party, but let's make... What see if we can make a better use? ingot here with some nice uh, skills. We put an attack boost, which I think is a pretty good one, right? By 10, yeah, so. Put in that one. I guess it doesn't really matter after that, right? Just put in whatever, I guess, at this point. Is this good? Which cauldron should I use? Always Grandma's cauldron. Okay, let's start. And I'm not sure, I don't really think this, this stuff really matters all that much, so... Yeah, good! This isn't bad! Ah, so that's what happens! There we go. Is this good? Alright, I'll finish it now! Good! So we made another two ingots, and we're going to, to put in... Yeah, for sure attack boost. Is this okay? Okay, it's finished. Now let's go make Harold's weapon. So we need to go... Oh, there's a lot of people in the street here. See if anything happens. I doubt it though, but we'll see. Maybe we'll chat up with uh, Leon and uh, Corey. Okay, well, nothing with her. Come back. What about Corey? Nothing with Corey have... either, but we should buy maybe... What? Oh, they have no more stock of those, so never mind. Disregard. Alright, let's go to Lodgy and make Harold's gun. I'm assuming I can make a gun now. Um, Every st what weapon do you want to make? We want to make metal bullets. So I guess we only make bullets, not necessarily a use. gun. So attack boost. See if we can get any other skills on here that are good. Skill cost compress. What does that do? By 10% reduces MP by 10. Maybe we'll consider that. What does weak do? It's just a chance to inflict weak. Uh. Inflict no heal. Uh, whatever. We'll put in this one here. And here, let's see if we can have any other traits we can do. Just quality up. Um, I guess we'll do the inflict no heal. Whatever. Let's crack. The traits you want to add. Now, how many traits can we actually put in? We'll do attack boost for sure. Quality up doesn't really do much. Inflict weak. Inflict no all heal. Right? Yep. All right, it's done. I think it turned out well. All right, these should work. Then I'll go call Harold. Bullets for my guns, huh? You showed me the guns before. I made these from my memory. What do you think? Yeah, I think these would be fine. I see. That's good. Still, I was never really concerned about the bullets I used up until now. It's important for the guns themselves to be well made, but the bullets you use can change their effectiveness as well. It's the same as any projectile weapon. You can change the ammunition you use to emphasize velocity, density, etc. Interesting. Huh, I didn't know they had different purposes. You use different items against different enemies too, right? It's similar to that. I see. Now that you mention it, if you modify your guns, come see me again. It's dangerous to use bullets that don't fit right. Yeah, thanks for that. 
I'll see you later. Okay. So let's equip those onto our friend Harold here. Now, I don't remember if we ended up equipping... Yeah, we had to have, yeah. I've got a lot of shovels here. <laughs> but we'll keep that one on him. See, the thing is I like Monica, but... I think these guys have better abilities for now. Well, we'll try it out. I mean, there's no... I mean... I can use whoever I want. And there's no time limits, so... It's fine, I guess. Why is the book lady... Where is she? Is she at the cafe? Hello. Oh, hello, Elise. Hello, Sophie. Uh, you're reading in the cafe today? Yes, that's right. I see, but the cafe can be a little loud. Are you able to concentrate? Yes, I'm fine. Quiet places are nice, but I like reading in places that have some noise, too. Sometimes it's actually easier to concentrate in places like this. Huh? I didn't know. Well, so I can drink really good tea here. Mm, that's true. Okay. That's that. Tess is doing nothing except looking pretty. Uh, let's see any Welcome. requests here. I doubt Which it because we already checked it. So we're fine on that. Welcome. Which request? It's only the six, right? Yeah. Welcome. Uh, any what rumors? Rumor do you nope. I'll... So who haven't we visited yet? I guess we haven't talked to Monica in a while. We could go say hello to her. See if she has anything interesting. I doubt it though. Nope, nothing. Let's see how Pamela is doing. Nothing from her front either. I guess we can go check up on uh, Julio, and I think we would have pretty much talked to everybody at this point. I mean, we haven't talked to Oscar in a while, but that's fine. Well, I think we did get... I think we got a request from somebody. Clock... No. The Creepy Cabin, that's right. Pilgrim Road at night. So let's go out into the world map. You're last again, Sophie. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm glad I made it in time. Oh, Harold! You're already here? We heard all about it. Harold's gonna be coming with us from now on, right? Yeah, we agreed to that the other day. I need to test my guns, after all. Yeah, sure. You're really coming because you're worried about us, aren't you? Don't say stupid things. You don't have to be so embarrassed about it. But it would be really helpful if you came with us, Harold. I look forward to working together. Yeah. Okay then, let's go! Alright, so, Pilgrim Road I think is where we needed to go. Let's see where that is. And that was a new area we've unlocked. That's also a new area. There's some areas we haven't even been to yet that we've unlocked, but uh, it's fine. Where so where is Pilgrim Road? Pil oh, it's right here. All right. So there's supposed to be something going on here. And it is nighttime, so that should work. Supposed to investigate the cabin at night. This isn't the right cabin, so it's got to be the one over here. Well, I guess there's two more that it could potentially be. This is the place Meister Horst was talking about. Mm, it's nighttime, but I don't really hear any strange voices. <laughs> Yeek! I heard it. I really heard it just now. I heard a strange voice from inside the cabin. Uh, I want to go home. But I need to complete the request. I can't just leave without checking. Be brave, Sophie. Just look inside. Just a little peek.
<laughs> yes, it's fantastic. These curves, they really are marvelous. What's that? A boy and a girl? Hmm, I could have made the shoulder blades just a little more apparent. Oh no, they're dolls. Well, I need to hurry and complete them. I suppose I'll start work on the lower parts tomorrow. I see, so that guy was just talking to himself. I was all scared for nothing. Huh? Who's there? Eek! Now, girl, who are you? Um, I live in the town nearby. People were saying that they heard strange voices from here. Hmm, so you came here to investigate. I apologize for that. I assume it was me. My name's Fritz. I'm a traveling doll maker. And I'm assuming he's going to be a party member eventually, too. So Fritz Weisberg? Weisberg? Um, I'm Sophie. Sophie, huh? I found this cabin during my travels and started making dolls here. I seem to have a bad habit of talking to myself while I make dolls. I didn't expect to cause such a problem. <laughs> I see. But Fritz, you're really close to town. Why did you decide to stay here? Well, this is embarrassing to say, but I didn't even notice that there was a town nearby. Uh, I see. Then should I tell you where the town is? Sorry about that. It would really help. Okay, I got it. Let's see. From here, the town is... I see. Then I'll head to the town once I make preparations. Okay. Please be careful on your way. I'm glad it wasn't a ghost. Oh, I know. I should tell Mr. Horse about Fritz. Okay. So that's that. So that's clearly going to be a party member eventually. I'm assuming. Um, let's go to a new area we haven't been to before. It'd be nice if we could figure out which ones we Where have. Where are we going next? There's probably a way to tell if, we have, if we've been or haven't been. I actually think we've already figured it out. I think if the dot is a lighter yellow... We've already been there, because we haven't been to Calm Banks, we haven't been to Flower Garden. I think we just peeked into the Rocky Mountain, but we haven't been to the Wood Cabin. We haven't been to the Mountain Boundary, and we haven't been to the Rocky Grove. So we're... Let's go to this one here, the Calm Banks, see what's happening there. A small little area. Nothing... Too interesting here, I don't think. Let's fight hey! this thing. Now then, let us begin. Let's see what level they're at. Seven. Yeah, we'll just attack. Should be fine. I should probably start defending and stuff too, but there. It's fine. Here's a bonus. Ow. I'll go. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of the puny first, I guess. Wide open. Hey, okay, gone. Fire. There. Give me some cover. You won't get away. Nice. Yay! We won. Forty-eight XPs. Not too shabby. And dangerous red puny can now be reported. Convenient enough. Oh god, there's like enemies everywhere. Uh, so there's some different items here, I guess, that we haven't gotten before. Well, that we've gotten, those shells, but we haven't gotten this, like, sand stuff. Wish that puny would stop chasing us. That'd be nice. Alright, let's get out of here. I think we've gotten enough of those materials. Just check the ma our, our crafting recipe idea stuff, too. So for growth recipes, we need... 300 coal in purchases and 300 coal in sales. So we just need to sell some stuff. Um, certain support skill, certain attack skill. Okay. Here we just have to make a practice cauldron. And we need to make a uni bag that has explodes. Okay. That's all I crafted stuff, though. or the uni bag we have to craft, I think, one that has the property explodes on it. So I have to look into that. Hey! 
damn it. He's gonna be able to get off the attack. Fire. Oh, why are they picking on her? Here's a bonus. How's this? Wide open. All right. <laughs> Easy win. Not much XP, but that's fine. Oh, we got a chest out of that, though. What do we get? Uh, armor of some sort. Let's see if that's any good. Uh, well, it gives us LP, but we lose one defense, so it's not great. Little wolf thing over here. Should we fight it? Why not? Hey! Whoa, they look pretty tough. Well, we're gonna use some items because they do look kind of tough. Ooh, there's a, something at the back too that I couldn't see. Okay, what skills does he have? He has fast loader, which is target self. Uh, let's do that. All right, let's try that. See how that plays this out. Item is really effective. Ow! That really hurt. Ow! That wasn't too bad. This is a chance. All at once. At least uh, Julio doesn't take that much damage, which is nice. I got it. Sleeping pollen. I'll blow you all away. So the the ability that I use from um, Harold, it actually keeps attacking, which is really nice. Um, let's just use attack. It's over, fine. I'm Should gonna... be okay. I'll use an item on the enemy. Fire. Huh. Give me some cover. This should give us a good Don't chunk of experience though, I think. Yay! We won! Yeah, 207. Very nice. I feel stronger. So Sophie leveled up. The path ahead is Julio leveled up. I become stronger Oscar for the play. leveled up. And that was it. Uh, we got a treasure chest too, which is very nice. I'm wondering if. Um, we have to use items for the next, uh, clock the... Yeah, using items. Okay. And performing synthesis for clock the's next memory. Okay, so we do have to use a lot of combat items and stuff for that. Um, I don't really want to fight again because I don't think we'll do too well because our HP is kind of low. I mean, we could use items to heal up. Uh, let's see what we have. That's MP recovery. Just these, items, these healing items aren't great right now at the moment, so it's kind of blah. Let's fight another hey! one. See if we can pull this off. Like the feel of this. <laughs> Be careful. It was a good. It was a lot of experience. So that's kind of why I want to again. Um, but we can't use fast loader again. Hmm. It's good. Well, we can use this one, which is okay. Do that. Another temple slide. All right, see how that plays out. This item is really effective. Stop moving. This is a chance. <gasps> that really hurt. Oh, that almost killed him. This better not. Good, good, good. It's on Harold. And Harold. I hadn't taken any damage yet, so that's very good. Got it. And Julio's there. Oh no! They lose? killed Oscar. <laughs> I wonder if we can uh, swap in like escape. Monica though. All right. 
and just run, defend. No, I don't think we can. Uh, well, we'll use another bomb there, and we'll just attack. Should be fine. I let my guard down. I used an item on the enemy. There. Perfect. Finally. In that way, Harrow leveled up. I need to hone my skills further. Okay, and we got another treasure chest. Very nice. Um, let's see if we can actually swap out you for... Oh, we can. We can just do it on the fly, which is nice. Oh no, it ran right into us. Stay on guard. Oh boy, I think we might be screwed here. Well, we'll do our best. No skills. No skills. What about items? No items. All right, we'll see what happens. If we die, we die. It's no big deal. Ah. Come on, Julio. How's this? Okay. Braveheart. That's only a single enemy, though. That's also only a single enemy. Whatever. This item is really effective. <gasps> no. Okay, he's still alive. Good. Now's the time for this. Okay, that one's dead. Go. I'll attack as well. Bisecting sword. Did that kill it? No, it didn't. Isn't working out all that well at the moment. He has no HP. I don't even understand how that works, but all right. He should be dead. I'll use an item on the enemy. All right, that one's dead. There we go. Sorry, I had some trouble in that battle. We all had trouble in that battle. That was rough. Uh, we need to get out of here though. All right, let's get the heck out of here. To the world map. Where are we going next? Uh, and we'll take a break here. Uh, next time we'll go back to our Atelier. I don't know if we'll craft anything. We'll see. Um, see if there's any new conversations happening in and around town. Because we had that one guy that we met. Uh, I read Fritz. Fritz, I think was his name. Just a tall maester horse to build that. So we'll do that next time. As always, thanks for watching.